I'm Lady Aska and today I want to introduce you guys to HANA tool and also start off a little mini series for Unity upgrades that you can do in combination with your Beroid avatars. First, you have to download Unity and for that the Unity Hub, which enables you to install different versions of Unity, even ones that are way older than the current one. And don't worry, as always, the links will all be down in the description, together with all information of which version was used in this video. There's a lot of different information out there regarding which version you should download. And as a rule of thumb, you can work with whichever version you want, as long as it's compatible with the respective plugins that we will be using. I am using the Unity version 2020.3.0 in this video, but I also tried it with the current newest version 2021.2.7. And while it works, you may have to click through a few more options to automatically update some files from the plugins. The plugins that we are using today are UniVRM Unity package, so that we can import our .vrm files and the HANA tool plugin, which you have to buy from booth.pm. So a little disclaimer here. HANA tool was made for perfect sync, which is basically used to work with the iPhone face tracking I talked about in previous videos. If you don't have an iPhone, it won't actually do much, but add two more facial expressions to your avatar that you could trigger in VC face. I hear you can alter the blend shapes with other programs later, though these haven't been tested with Vroid versions 1.0 models yet. So just be aware of that before you invest 8 to 10 dollars into HANA tool. To start, we create a new 3D project under projects and wait till Unity opens up, which can take quite some time. To be able to import our .vrm files, we now have to add in the Unity VRM plugin under the upper menu bar, Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Here I used version 0.92.0. A little overview window will pop up and you continue by confirming with Import in the bottom right. You will see right away if it worked, because in your upper bar there will be two new menus, Uni GLTF and VRM0. Another window will pop up that you can confirm with accept all for now and close it after. Now we can drag our .vrm file from our folder directly into the bottom assets. You see a blue cube and after a while a little preview of your avatar. Drag this preview or prefab asset into the box on the left called sample scene. Now we are ready to import the HANA tool plugin which works the same way as with the Uni VRM before. Under Assets in the upper menu bar, Import Package, Custom Package, and then select the HANA tool version you downloaded and confirm the follow-up window with Import again. Now we have the menu HANA tool in the top menu bar. We select here Reader to select the package we want to use. As you may see, we have various versions here. The version number actually refers to the compatibility with the Vroid Studio version. So if your avatar's .vrm was created in the beta version 0.14, then you select Perfect Sync Vroid version 0.14. But in our case, and maybe in yours as well, the avatar was actually created and exported with Vroid Studio 1.0. So we use the version Perfect Sync Vroid version 1.0 and in my case, female. If you select the wrong version by accident, you will receive an error message too, so there's no way of getting it wrong. Before we can use the package though, we have to select where we want to apply these. In the upper part of the HANA toolbox is a little cycle on the upper left. Here we can select to which mesh we want to add the blend shapes to. This is obviously the face. And as you see, now we can actually use the bottom button to read blend shapes, which we do. There should be a little confirmation message that tells you that the blend shapes were added to the mesh. To actually use these now, we have to create a clip with HANA Tools Clip Builder. We go again to the HANA Tool menu and select Clip Builder. 
Here you only have to select your model with the little cycle in the top right corner again. The same way as we did with the face before. Mine was called Aska underscore 2D underscore test. After that you can confirm with clip build. And if that's all you wanted, then we are done here. All that's left is to export our model using the new VRM0 menu and select export to VRM. Don't forget to change the language to EN for English and give your model a version number like V2 or V3 and save your new .vrm under a name and place you can find again easily. Now we want to test if everything worked. Open up VC Face. We also got treated to a new version here, but keep in mind that you have to update your version manually and that VC Face doesn't have an automated updater, which means you have to deinstall your old version and download the new one. With that out of the way, let's first check our expressions on the model without added blend shapes from HANA tool. We see the usual selection, joy, surprise, anger and so on. If we switch now to our new avatar, we see in the expression settings two new expressions. Cheek puff and tongue out. This can now be triggered using set keys as I explained it in my VC face introduction video. The cheek puff expression looks honestly horrible as is. But the tongue out looks super good and you can combine it with other expressions too. But as I said, this actually shows only a fraction of what HANA tool actually did here for us. As I don't own an iPhone, I can't showcase its full potential as of now. Feel free to donate to my Ko-Fi so I can get one. I'm joking of course, you don't have to do that. As usual, feel free to ask questions in the comments and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Hope you have a wonderful day.